blur tool in photoshop the use of blur tool in photoshop let's say you have an image you that you want to make some blur blur on the on the part of the image so you can use the blur tool in photoshop right click on this and you can find a blur tool and click on that and you can activate that and you can let's say for this image i want to make the the background of this building arc into a blur type or a blur, blur image the background so you have to activate that uh, tool and start brushing on the on this but we have to create a new layer so that we we are going to segregate the blur image the blur type or the blur of the image from the original image that's the best practice in doing this also you can adjust the the brush type of the blur 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 tool and the blending modes the strength is how blur the the image will be the result of the image also you can click or tick on the sample all layers let's say if you have multi layers since we have two layers so i will go and activate this sample all layers and start brushing make sure you select the the transparent layer and start brushing as you can see the background or the other buildings becoming blur now blur tool is somehow the is used to emphasize some part of the image that's why we want to blur some part of the area of the image like this like this photo or the, like this image so you can blur this as you can see the building become blur so I want to get uh, or show an emphasize to this art building. So I'm going to blur this. As you can see, the layer is now segregated. Let's blur this part. If I turn off this layer, I can see the the original image before the blur. And I turn this on, and it will show this uh, blur image at the background. You can also apply this tool in the other image. Let's say if you want to create a focus effect on a photo, let's say a portrait type of image, you can do that also. If I turn this off, I can see the the first layer, which is the blur image. Let me turn off the other, and I will brush this. So this is the before and the after. So that's the use or the purpose of blur tool in Photoshop. So I hope this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.